I've just collected a soil sample from our food plots here at QDMA headquarters. And here is what soil test results look like when you get them back from the lab. This report tells me exactly what type of fertilizer and how much of it per acre is needed for a specific food plot crop. And it also tells me how much lime to add if necessary to adjust the acidity of the soil. That affects how the plants can uptake the minerals I'm going to add. This little report can save you a lot of time and money over guessing how much fertilizer and lime to add. And it's easy to do and inexpensive. Here in Georgia, our extension agents all send soil samples to the University of Georgia Soil Lab. We recently stopped by the lab so we could show you what happens to your soil tests when you send them off for analysis. So every day we get the soil samples, we get them sorted uh, in, in set boxes here. So this is how we start the tracking process so we can keep everyone's samples in order. First, the soil samples are dried in large ovens for 24 hours. Next, each sample is screened to remove rocks, sticks, and debris. When you collect your own samples, it's a good idea to go ahead and remove this debris so that most of your sample is loose soil. On a slow day, we might do around 150 samples uh, in one day, and when we get really busy, uh, we can do up to 1,500 in a day. So these racks really help us kind of streamline that process and then keep everything organized so that we don't get a sample mixed up. Two samples are separated from each submission. One of these will be tested for mineral content, the other for pH or acidity. With each batch, a control sample from a known source is also included to ensure the lab testing equipment is accurately calibrated. The batch being tested for mineral content gets treated with a weak acid solution to quickly extract minerals from the soil. I should note that it's possible that the soil lab in your state will use different chemicals or tests than what you see here because soils vary dramatically across the map and each lab will use the best test methods for their state soil types. After the samples have been mixed, they're poured into filter cones to produce a clear liquid test sample. Meanwhile, the other batch is being tested for pH level. This machine not only measures soil pH, it also injects calcium hydroxide into each sample and monitors how each sample reacts uniquely. Different soil types are affected differently by the addition of lime. So this test ensures the lime recommendation is exactly what your soils need. Now the mineral samples have been filtered and are poured into small tubes for the final stage of testing. The plasma spectrograph is the machine that measures mineral content. The results immediately appear on a report in the lab's computer system and are sent out that day by email to the clients. The time it takes for you to get your test results will vary from state to state and depending on the season of the year. It could be a week, it could be a month or more. That's why it's a good idea not to wait until fall food plot planting season. Go ahead now and send off your samples so you'll have your results back and be ready to add the right amount of fertilizer and lime to ensure maximum production in your deer food plots. Collecting a soil sample is very simple. Just take a slice of soil about six inches deep from several locations around your food plot. Mix those slices thoroughly in a bucket, then fill a soil sample bag provided by your county agent or a private lab. Do this for each plot separately. Good luck with your food plots this year, and for a whole lot more information on deer hunting and food plot management, visit us at QDMA.com. QDMA is where deer hunters belong.